Mike Clemson here at Yar Martinez at Georgetown University. We're going to do a, a lob drill. <clears throat> it's going to be a front toss drill from about 10 feet away. I'm going to just give him lob tosses, and he's got to stay back. I'm also going to throw him fastballs, okay, and he's going to take the fastball. And now you're, you're all my audience there saying, that is absolute, the absolute backwards thing you ever tell a kid. <clears throat> and when does this play a big part of him? He's facing the lefty that throws backwards. He throws, he's facing a righty that starts off guys with sliders. There are times as a hitter when I'm going to get up there and I'm going to sit breaking ball first pitch or 2-0 breaking balls or and, and, you know pitchers getting patterns. Well, I've got to be able to know a breaking ball changeup's coming and breathe and sit centered and wait for it and then explode and drive it. And I'm telling you, this is a tough drill for young kids. You start doing this lob toss and the kids get like this and they're on their toes and they just can't sit. Fastball, take. Lob, stay in the heels and explode and hit. So you'll see, he'll take the fastball, he's gonna try to hit the lob, okay? Here we go, Yor. And he'll know which one I'm talking about. There's a pitch on a fastball where you kind of leaked your hands forward. I know you felt it to see your facial expression. But on all the fastballs, he was here, he was separated. Um, it was about the fourth fifth ball, fastball in. He kind of went, you know, and he kind of, and that's kind of what I'm looking for. I want hitters just to be patient, just kind of fastball, 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 take. Fastball, fastball, breaking ball. Boom, and then explode. You know, be able to stay inside your hips and then boom and explode on that ball. We get impatient as young hitters. We get here, fastball, 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 right? And, our head dips or whatever. He did that one little bit, and it was just a little bit. When you guys watch, it was on a three or four fastballs in, but that little bit creates an 0 for 1. Okay, now advantage pitcher. Now he's like, okay, well, I got Yarb on this, and it's constant chess mess. Our job is never show weakness, spit on breaking balls, don't swing at them. That's what that means. That's a baseball term. And, and if I see a hitter and they're, they're down, boom, break them on the dirt. And I see a separation, guy center, I'm like, this guy can hit. Or I throw a fastball away, and the guy just does this and takes rather than kind of leans out over his toes. When guys have great takes, right? And I know high school coach always talk about great takes, <clears throat> but you gotta understand what a great take is. A great take is when your weight shift back, you control your posture, you control your linear move to center, you're back in your heels, your hands are separated, and you take it like, you know what, you wanted to take it. Like if you bring it to me again, I'm gonna smash it, but I wanted to take that one. Rather than, you know, leak a little bit with your hands or leave your posture or cheat a little bit. So that, that drill right there is just a nice little uh, lob toss drill. And we're working on guys pitching backwards to us and give us a chance to kind of reprogram our brain. Because what you want to do is when you see that fastball, it's hammer, hammer. Now we're saying, hey, hey, guys, listen, this guy is 50, 60% all speed. Here's the deal. There's going to be certain situations when this guy gets into tendency, we'll unleash the fastball. But listen, 2-0, he's notorious second, third, first base open to throw the old tambio, which is change up, and we hit a ground ball. Or first and second on a 3-1 count. A lot of colleges run on 3-1. You college coaches know that. 3-1, one, one out. It's like, hey, let's go in motion. Say a double play. Change up. Okay, all of a sudden, weak fly ball, line out, ground ball, whatever. So we've got to be able to adjust. And it's not a bad thing as a hitter when you know a tendency is coming to look for that pitch. Trust it. I'm looking for a change up. I'm plus two. We talked about this a week ago. It's 3-1. It's if I take it, it's 3-2. I still have another pitch. So I'm plus two on a 3-1 count. Okay, but if I'm looking change up, I'm gonna hit the conviction on that breaking ball or change up. If he throws me a fastball out of third, I'm gonna take it. Because I'm so convicted and I'm so uh, executing that I know an off speed's coming because we've looked at these charts that if I do get a fastball, I'm just gonna take it. Okay, now I'm 3 2. I'm still in control as a hitter, in my opinion. Uh, but what I don't want is go change up, change up, fastball, and, 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 and just kind of a knee jerk reaction, swing the bat. Now I ground out a weak fly ball or, or foul it off even. Now it, the mental side of the hitter comes in. He's thinking, oh, man, why did I swing at that? I was looking, change it. Why? You know, and now it's that, that, that brainwash. You start, you're, it's like a tornado in your head, and you start <coughs> fighting with yourself in the middle of the box. So trust your approach. If your approach is a sit breaking ball early on, then if you get a fastball, take it. Okay, we can always change our approach to the next at bat or next pitch.
But if you're that pitch, you're sold on slider or whatever, and it's not there, then take it. All right? I uh, appreciate you guys listening today. Hope you guys learned something. Thank you.